Hello again, my dear students. So here we are discussing discussing the part of bad day and good day again. Okay, so here we have uh, as another song about good and bad days. And in this song, we are going to hear about good day and bad day. Here we have the days of the week again. And for every day of the week, we are going to tell is it a good day or a bad day. And we are going to write names for this day like clumsy boy day or toy day. Tuesday was a sad day. That is the end day. Lost my friend day. So we are going to talk about your days as I told you before in the speaking um, task I gave you. I want you to read the whole poem. Read it all, look at the pictures and read it all till the very end. And here we come the homework part. So these three questions are going to be your homework. I want you to read the poem, the whole of it, and to answer these questions. And as I told you before, whenever we are writing in a book, we need to draw a line before. Uh, and then we write on the line in a proper handwriting. And if there is no enough space for it, you can put a sticky note. But please just make it line the sticky note or ask your mommy to make a line sticky note for you. And then here again we are revising the days of the week. And let's go to this part which I think it's a very important part for you. Because here we are going to learn some new vocabulary that means the same as the word good. And some new vocabulary, some new words that means is the same as the word bad. So here we have the word good. In the word good, we have so many other words that means the same as good. We have the word wonderful. We have the word great, fantastic, lovely, happy, brilliant, and nice. So again, we have so many words that mean the same as the word good. We have wonderful, great, fantastic, lovely, happy, brilliant, and nice. And we have other words that means the same as the word bad. So we have bad and sad, bad and tough, bad and awful, bad and terrible, bad and horrible. Okay, that's great. And let's move to this activity, which is page 104, um, activity letter C. Change the underlined words that we have here, these underlined words, to make it a good day, which means that all the underlined words here means bad, like sad, which means bad. Tough, which means bad. Late, which means bad. A hard day, which means a bad day, like horrible day. An awful, and I don't like this word, it means very bad. And so we're going to change all these words that means the same as bad to the words that means the same as good. Let's make it like a good day. And I hope all your days are going to be good days and we need to write new sentences and the draw but we're not going to draw here in the book I'm going to tell you now where exactly are you going to draw so we want to change these words that means the same as bad and write other words that means the same as good Okay, let's do this activity together here, and I want you to do the same in your books. Okay, so I need your pencils to be sharpened, I need your rulers and your erasers. Are you ready to, to do it with me? Okay, before we start do this, we need to read this tab. In this tab, he's telling you that you can use these words to help you. What are these words? These are the words that means the same as good. What are these words? We have good, happy, lovely, nice, great, brilliant. 
okay so we can use either from the words i gave it to you like wonderful great fantastic lovely happy brilliant nice or use from these words like good happy lovely nice great and brilliant okay so let's start are you ready do you have your pencil sharpened we're going first to do as we do every time we need to draw a line beside it tuesday was a sad day no it was not a sad day we are going to make it a happy day so we are going to replace the word to change the word sad and write the word happy instead okay wednesday was a tough day no it was not a tough day it was a very nice day so we are going to change all the words that means bad or sad to other words that means good or happy. Thursday was a late day. No, I don't want to make it a late day. huh? Give me suggestions. What would you like Thursday to be? It's the, the last day of school and after it you're going to have the weekend lovely okay so it may be a great day so let's write like a great day it's a great day please do the same in your book and write the words um my handwriting using the computer is not that good but i will try to improve it okay so let's make it like a great day. Write with me. E A eight eight great day. Friday was a horrid day. A hard day like a horrible day. Terrible day. So let's make it like no, it's not. It's a lovely day. Lovely day. So, as you can see, we are changing the words that means bad and we are writing other words that means good. Saturday was an awful day. I don't like this word. I don't, I don't like the word awful because it means very, very bad. And I will write, it is not awful. It is a good day i'm going to write a good day okay and by reaching this part this is the end of the unit so before we leave this part i'm going to say it again we have some words that means the same as good and we have some other words that means the same as bad i want you to know these words to write them down and to study them very hard wonderful great fantastic lovely happy brilliant nice which means very good and other words that means bad like sad tough awful terrible horrible okay i want you to do the same exercise in your book and i want all the books to be completed here we have the pcm part this is your homework this is your task so here this is pcm number 20 i want your mommy to photocopy for you and i want you to complete it here is the part that we're going to draw here we're not going to draw in the book we are going to draw in the pcm piece of paper the sheet i sent your mommy to photocopy it for you so what exactly are we going to do here? In this part, we have day of the week. So you are going to write the, all the days of the week. Here we have Monday, and here we are going to write Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You are going to write all the days of the week here. And you are going to give each day a name. For example, Monday was my fun day. So I wrote Monday and I wrote fun day. After Monday, it comes a Tuesday. So I'm going to write Tuesday. It may be girl's day. So it's a girl day. 
So you need to write the day of the week and write a name for this day. And then you have to draw here something that happened on this day. Is it a good day? Is it a bad day? Just to draw something here. Okay? So in the previous exercise, he asked you to draw a picture. But we are not going to draw the picture here in the, uh, in the book. We are going to use PCM number 20 to, to, uh, to draw, okay? So use PCM number 20 here because we're going to draw in the PCM 20, okay? And now that's at the end of the unit. Let's go to the unit review. Let's do the recapping. So, as for the recapping, the first part is reminding you of all the songs and the rhyming songs that we talk in this unit. We talked about the monsters with the thick eyebrows, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my eyebrows. And then we talk about the song of hands up. So point up to the ceiling and point down to the floor. Okay, 